Hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be giving you some tips and tricks for my painting process uh, while using Procreate to create art like this. So without further ado, let's jump on in. So the very first thing is I pick out the size. In this case, I went with 2048 by 2048 pixels. Uh, that seemed to be a really good size. Sometimes I will beef that up to like four and 5,000 pixels, but that seems to be a bit overkill. Next, I will fill in some shapes. And I already started to shadow the one shape. Uh, but as many of the shapes that you can kind of break down the artwork into, basically keeping in mind where you're going to want clean edges, that usually is a pretty good way to go. Uh, it, can, it can yield a very crisp look. So for instance, the red is a layer, the black uh, and the mask is a layer, even the white is a, a layer. And I drew those in with a more solid brush. Sometimes I'll use like the technical pen or even the selection tool to generate those shapes. And FYI, those shapes don't have to be perfect from the start. They're, they're never perfect anyways. And so you can always go back and edit those shapes as you move forward. I, I tend to think of painting like a ball of clay, like I'm sculpting all these various little bits and pieces. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now, as I'm painting over top and I'm starting to introduce more color, I'm actually working off uh, a clipping mask. And, and so that's the other neat thing about doing that preliminary shape. A lot of it you can put uh, a lot of paint right on that basic shape and I do recommend that because it's good to see the way the colors work when they blend together uh, on that existing you know color palette but then also you do have the ability to use clipping mass over top of that and really introduce some other things so if you're testing something I generally will use clipping mass so for the uh, webbing here uh, it was definitely a clipping mass because I'm trying to figure it out I'm trying to introduce some shapes and you see I'm redrawing it just struggling with it like I always do with the webs uh, but that's where clipping masks are really powerful. But I do tend to find that I like to add more and more paint on that existing layer and only keep certain elements floating above, like the eyes, like the webs, stuff like that. Um, but with the red of the suit and those different colors I introduced, the thing that I started to find with this piece and, and what I've noticed with a lot of paintings is there's a time to smudge and there's a time to just sample and blend the colors. And I really think that Practicing sampling and blending colors more than smudging is probably the right way to go. Uh, you end up washing away less of your texture. You end up keeping a, a, a more painterly vibe to the work uh, and really learning to control the textures that you're implementing in your painting. So it's, it takes a little getting used to, but essentially it's just hold, holding your finger over the color you're looking for, obviously introducing enough colors into your color palette where you can, you know, you got a lot to grab from but then using a soft, uh, I have a translucent round brush and get it in my free pack and using that to slowly kind of blend those colors and, and change the shapes that you're seeing. Uh, it does take some practice, but it's, I don't know, it's like smudging can, can really hurt the painting because you, you start smudging too much and you end up with a kind of a blob of, of you know, it lacks that texture and that kind of impact, I think. so. Now keep in mind, if you want to learn more about this process, more of the details, more of the step-by-step -step, uh, design and, and, and production of it, I'd be happy to share that content. So if somebody had already recommended like maybe creating a, a Gumroad product and a class on there, uh, and, and I thought, you know what, I really don't have one that fits exactly this, so I can't do superhero stuff like this. I can only share this on the channel here, um, but I could teach you know different characters that are kind of like the superheroes that we know and love and I could teach you step by step all the process that goes into it so let me know if that's something you're interested in I could put that together and put it on my gum road I'll make sure there's links in the description box below but the main thing is this one took about three and a half hours in real time and it was just absolute fun so I just want to share that with people like you know there's a lot of stuff floating around on the the art world today where people are like trying to take shortcuts and do all this and that and I'm not gonna talk negatively about anything like, but I just basically wanna show people, you can do this on your own. It's not that hard. It's, it takes a certain amount of practice and, and leveling up your skills and understanding some things. And I, I've got a long ways to go, we all do. But the thing is, is that it's worth it. It's, it's rewarding, it's fun, it's, I love it. It's, it's a good time. And to me, three and a half hours on something like this, I'm more than happy to trade that amount of my time to produce an art piece that I, that I like and I can add to my portfolio. Uh, and you learn with everyone that you create. So you just gotta keep creating and don't worry about the noise out there and just, just have fun and do your thing, follow your passion. That, that will guide you, obviously. 
Um, but yeah, there's always going to be a place for people that can create stuff like this. Uh, maybe the demographics and the market change and the landscape changes, but it doesn't just go away. So hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, I'd love to know what you think and more content on the way very soon. As always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and bye for now.